जिंदगी के साथ भी जिंदगी के बाद भी We are all familiar with this tagline of LIC, and yet the insurance penetration is very low in India at just 4.2 percent. The main reason behind this dismal figure is that people don't understand the concept of insurance and wonder if it's really necessary. It's easy to confuse between the terms of different insurance. So, in this video today, we'll break down the fine print of insurance and help you understand why is it important to take life insurance and health insurance. And we are doing a giveaway with this video of these three books and. All you have to do is hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and tell me in the comments when did you first buy the insurance, or if you have not bought the insurance, then what is holding you back? I'll be announcing the winners when we hit 100 comments. Insurance is something that protects you financially against loss. That means if something goes wrong, the insurance company will pay you. And you can get anything of value covered under insurance. For example, your house, content inside the house, your car, or your life. Sometimes piano players get their fingers insured. Soccer players get their legs insured. Do you know Vijender Singh got his hands insured after the medal-winning performance in Beijing Olympics in 2008? But how does insurance policy work? The core model of insurance is very easy. You'll pay a monthly or an annual premium to the insurance company to get your life insurance or a home insurance or a car insurance, and in return, the insurance company will pay you a financial compensation. in the event of an accident or a damage to the insured object so basically you transfer the risk of a financial loss to the insurance company in exchange for the premium that you pay let's see this with an example let's say there are two friends rambo and sita sita says to rambo i'll give you 1000 rupees but if i lose my cell phone you will have to buy me a new one if rambo agrees to the deal we have an insurance right there now let's rewind Rambo probably believes that Sita won't lose her cell phone and he will be richer by 1000 rupees. Now if he can find 100 more people who will give him 1000 rupees each then he will make 1 lakh rupees. Out of these 101 people even if one or two lose their cell phone and he may have to pay 10000 rupees back for the cell phone he will still be 90000 richer. This is the business model of insurance companies. This is a very simplified version of how insurance companies make money. Let's match this example with a real life model. When you buy a policy you are basically pooling your money with that of other people. You are paying a small amount called premium and against which you get a policy. Now this policy is a promise that if you face a loss the insurance company will compensate you for it. Sometimes you may not face the loss and in that case your premium will go waste but you will buy what insurance companies call peace of mind insurance works on the basis of probability and is built on the first rule of risk that losses are smaller when shared by many there are three basic components for any insurance the amount of premium you pay the limit of the insurance coverage and the deductible By understanding these three components you will take the most important step in choosing the most appropriate insurance policy. Let's see the first one premium. The premium of an insurance policy is the amount that you need to pay to buy a specific cover. Now this premium is based on several factors. For example, your risk profile. For example, if you own many cars and you have a history of reckless driving, then your premium cost will be higher compared to someone who has a regular car and who has never been in an accident. You should know that different companies can ask for different premium even for a similar type of policy. So you will need to put in some effort to identify the policies that work for you at a price that you are willing to pay. Policy limit is the maximum amount that the insurance company is liable to pay under a policy. Now higher the policy limit the higher will be your premium. Generally there are two words used in context with this some insured and some assured. Let's see the difference between these two. Sum insured is the coverage you get for any loss, damage or injury. For example, if you have taken a health insurance for 3 lakh rupees and you get admitted in a hospital and your total bill is only 80000 rupees, the insurance company will only reimburse 80000 rupees. But if your total bill comes to 3 lakh 50000 rupees, then insurance company will reimburse you up to 3 lakh rupees because your policy limit is 3 lakh rupees some assured is generally used in context of life insurance this is the prefixed amount that the insurance company will pay either to you or to your nominee in your absence and number 3 deductibles deductible is the amount that you agree to pay out of your own pocket before the insurance company begins to settle the claim 
Consider this as a deterrent against the small insignificant claims that many people file under their insurance policy. Let's see an example. Suppose you have a 10,000 rupee coverage for your car with a 2,000 rupee deductible. Now, if you get into an accident and the cost of repair is 8,000 rupee, then you will pay the first 2,000 rupee out of your own pocket and the balance 6,000 rupee will be paid by the insurance company. If the cost of repair is only 1,500 rupee, then you will bear the entire cost because it is less than the deductible amount. Insurance exclusions are policy provisions that waive coverage for certain types of actions like international actions or illegal actions or acts of terrorism or war and others. So these Ukraine people will not get any insurance payment for destruction to their property. A recent survey carried out in 15 tier 1 cities showed that only 20% of the young population had term insurance cover. Those in the age group of 25 to 35 spent the most on travel and luxury items and insurance was the least on their priority list. 50% of the respondents in the survey told that buying insurance never crossed their mind. Though life insurance is beneficial to people in all age groups, it is especially beneficial for millennials because they have the advantage of age. There are many benefits of buying a life insurance policy early in life. Let's see. The cost of life insurance premium grows in direct proportion to your age. In fact, if you are in your 50s, it will grow by as much as 12% for every increasing year. If you are in your 40s, it will grow by 5%. Essentially, when insurance companies are looking at your application, they are assessing you in terms of risk. The risk that they will have to make a payout in case you make a claim. However, for insurance companies, the younger you are, the lower the risk. Because young adults enjoy better health and are less prone to chronic diseases, which means lower premium for you with lower exclusions. And on the other side, growing age is a sign of greater health issues and a higher chance of making a claim. So older people are charged higher for their premium. Buying a life insurance policy early will benefit you with lower premiums and you will also get the coverage for a longer period of time. So for example, if you buy a policy at 25 years of age, you can get the coverage benefit for at least 50 years more. However, if you buy the policy at 40 years of age, your coverage will be less than 35 years. Longer period of coverage means that you are financially secured at most of the stages of your life. Life insurance policy is also covered under Section 80C of the Income Tax Act. That means you will also get the tax benefits for the premium that you pay. In the event of an emergency, you can take a loan against some of the life insurance policies. You can borrow a certain percentage of the sum assured depending on the policy provisions. You should have a cover of 10 times of your annual income, but the actual need may vary between 10 to 25%. Now 10 to 25% of your salary may seem a high number now, but if you factor in inflation, the amount will not be that big so many years down the line. If you are a salaried individual, insurance companies can offer you a cover of 20 times of your annual income. So you can opt for a higher cover now, which means you will lock it at a lower premium. The benefit is you may need to relook your policy coverage only when the member of your family increases or after 10 years. When choosing the sum assured for your life insurance, take a note of your financial responsibilities and make sure that the amount assured will be enough to meet the expenditures of the family in case the unforeseen happens. Number two, consider your age and the number of dependents in your family. Number three, keep a note of your assets and liabilities so that the family's finances can be managed with ease. And number four, make sure that the premium amount is affordable for you. There are mainly two types of life insurance policies, pure protection plan and protection plus investment plan. All types of life insurance policies will fit in either of these two categories. Let's see some examples. Term plan is a pure protection plan. Moreover, the premium is lower compared to any other type of life insurance product. The premiums are also more affordable if you buy it early in life. So it is suggested that you buy a term plan as soon as you start earning. Term insurance provides financial protection to your family in case of an eventuality. It is not meant to be used as an investment product. That means you will not get any return in case you survive the policy tenor. All other life insurance policies have protection plus investment component like the endowment plans, the ULIPs, the money back policies and the whole life policies and others. In endowment policies, you will receive a fixed amount at the maturity of the policy 
or in case of death, your nominee will receive the death benefits. Unit-linked insurance plans are similar to endowment policies, but the return is not guaranteed. The return can be higher or lower compared to the performance of the market. Now that you understand the basics of life insurance, I hope you will take a policy for yourself as soon as possible. Now let's see health insurance. Health insurance covers the medical and surgical expenses of the insured person. The insurance company will either reimburse you the amount or it will pay directly to the hospital. For example, if you get admitted to the hospital and the cost of treatment is 2 lakh rupees, you may not be able to arrange this amount at a moment's notice. But if you have health insurance, chances are you will not have to pay a rupee. Some policies also cover home treatment before you are hospitalized and home treatment after being discharged from the hospital. There are several benefits of getting a health insurance, like medical cover. In case of a sudden medical expense and hardship, you may not need to pay anything. Your insurance cover will take care of it. Cashless claim. In case you take treatment at a hospital that has a tie-up with your insurance company, then you will get the benefit of cashless claim. This will make sure that your medical bills are taken care of between the insurance company and the hospital. And all you have to do is just give your insurance policy number. Medical insurance premium for yourself and your family and your parents can be claimed as a tax reduction under Section 80D. Not only your major expense inside the hospital is covered, but medical policies also cover pre and post hospitalization expenses. Most of the policies cover the expense of 60 days prior to getting admitted and 90 days post discharge. You can also take advantage of preventive services and visit the hospital for regular checkups. Basic health insurance products have an annual limit of the sum insured, which means that you cannot claim more than the sum insured during a particular year. Now with ever increasing medical cost, there is a chance that you may exhaust this limit with a single incident. So some policies offer you the benefit of automatically restoring this amount if you exhaust the sum insured limit. If you're single and working, start with an individual policy. When you get married, you can increase the cover with a floater policy. This is a real cost saver and you will not need to buy individual policies for each of your family member. Generally, you, your spouse and two children are covered in this policy, but you can also add dependent parents in this plan. But the floater policy works best when the members are in the similar age group. If you add dependent parents in this floater policy, the cost of the policy will go up. So if your parents also need insurance or if some of the members have ailments like diabetes, then it's better to take individual policies for these members. You first need to understand the type of hospital that you would visit. Today, in a premium corporate hospital in a metro city, the treatment for a heart attack starts at around 3 lakh rupees. So 3 lakh cover is fine. As the medical cost is rising every year, you should have a cover of 10 lakh rupees at least. Now, if you're 25, a 10 lakh rupee cover will cost you around 10,000 rupee per year. Review this amount after five years to see if you need to increase the coverage. You can increase your health insurance by buying a top-up plan. You need to have a decent base cover and that will make the top-up plan very cost-effective. Other than this, you can also buy a critical illness plan that will pay you a lump sum on diagnosis of a critical illness like cancer. These policies work to supplement your income. But you also need to understand that health insurance policies will not cover your entire cost of hospitalization. So you also need to have some emergency fund for your medical emergencies. Now, both life insurance and health insurance policies are equally important and it is difficult to assign more weight to one compared to other. But if you have just started earning and it is difficult to buy both the policies in a single year, I would recommend you to buy a health insurance first. But do not delay on buying a life insurance for too long. I hope you now have a basic understanding of how insurance works. So go ahead and buy both the insurance for yourself and your family. If you find this video useful, click the like button, hit subscribe and press the bell icon. Wrapping it up, this Paritosh signing off.